Good afternoon. I'm Council Member Peter Ku. I'm the chair of the Committee on Technology. At today's hearing, the committee will vote on proposed introduction 986A, sponsored by myself, which would require an agency that is obligated to transmit to the city council copies of final audits, reports, evaluations, or studies that contains data in a list, table, graph, and chart. To submit such data in a long propriety uh, format that permits automated processing. The committee originally held a hearing on this bill on September 17 of this year. We heard from group, government groups, civic tech groups, and from others who rely on this data. This bill will make our government more efficient and transparent. I thank the co-sponsors of this bill along with the committee staff who work on this bill, including my committee council, Irene Bajowski, Brad Wade, Patrick Mohawk-Hill, and Sebastian Bachi. Thank you to the data operation team and my own staff. <clears throat> At this point, I would like to invite my council members on this committee who are present to speak about the proposed bill and I would like to recommend that members of the committee vote in favor of this bill. Thank you. And I also want to acknowledge the presence of uh, council members, uh, Bob Holden and, and Brad Lander. Yeah. And, yeah. Anyone want to make comments? No. No? Okay. So would the council, uh, would the, com uh, the clerk call the vote? Lee Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Technology, Chair Ku. I vote aye. Lander. I vote aye and ask to be added as a co-sponsor. Okay. Holden. Aye. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. We'll keep the vote open for 15 minutes. I think if a person comes, though, that they should have to provide uh, some, like, uh, information about their tardiness in a graph or other non-proprietary format that could permit. <laughs> I second that. <laughs> 